Hi guys, welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial on setting up uh, drawing templates, part templates, etc. I'm going to start off with the drawing template. So I'm opening it up, I've just had that blank screen which you get up when you start SOLIDWORKS. So first thing I want to do is pick the template. So I'm going to go with an A3 uh, template size I'm going to start off with. So I've got my, my sheet open and I'm now going to customize it. So if you go up to the top, on the sheet format tab if it's not there just right click and enable it and hit edit sheet format so now you can see that the borders have all changed color so we're now editing that sheet format uh, if we go over to the automatic border and then just hit that that uh, next button you can see here now the highlighted border around the outside is what we're editing so there you see I've got our uh, left border there, it's 20mm compared to the 10mm on the side. So I'm just going to change that to 10mm so it looks equal all the way around. And perfect. And if you scroll down, you can see we can get it equally spacing, increase the amount of rows, columns, etc. That's how you do that. We can also specify uh, different line thicknesses so I can make that a bit thinner and then I can also uh, change the distance of uh, the center zone dividers and you can see there they're just changing like so so I'll put that back to 5 mil and exactly the same but in the, the other direction like so um, so this automatic border really like does it all for you um, so just just use this tool you know that's what it's designed for it's, it's loads easier now this bottom right hand bit at the moment um, it's worth spending a bit of time delete or any of the unwanted text you can see there's a bit of a difference you've got text which is highlighted blue and black so blue is linked to a property so when a parts brought in uh, it might be linked to it and it will obviously get populated such as the material finish description um, so take some time customize this area to how you want your border to set up with because once it's set it's set you can go back and make changes to it um, but it's worth just spending the time getting it spot on uh, right now so I'm just going to spend some time um, dropping a thing in a correct location editing it to how I want to be how I want to have it looking real good little trick to do is, is just make all uh, your horizontal lines actually horizontal just add the relationship to them just so just uh, select all of them and then add a relationship just like you would in a normal sketch do exactly the same for all the vertical lines as well Right then, you can see uh, I've not spent a great deal of time, but I've got it all customized. Uh, what I want to show you now is how to put an automatic uh, box, uh, like a piece of text in which you populate it. So I'm just adding a normal note. The important part is that link to property. And then what I can do with my current document, I've got all these different prop property names. And you can see it's always so SOLIDWORKS dash something. So these are all the default ones. So got sheet scale for example there SOLIDWORKS by long date so what I'm do put SOLIDWORKS uh, file name so there you can see it's drawn one and that's actually the what the this drawing is called at the moment you can see up the top uh, of the of the screen so that's how I can bring it through if you can see you see these ones here you got material finish etc um, we could have a personal uh, a customized one for revision etc I'm just gonna have a look at to uh, which ones I could add. So we've got yeah, I could go with long date or go for short date. So there, obviously, we've got today's date, and that is matching uh, today. So I can drop that in place. 
it's blue because it's linked to a property. Um, you know, and you can spend a bit of time, link all of these up. It's probably worth also having a look at the property tab builder. But I'm happy with how that's looking. So I've exited this, the, uh, the edit sheet format. And now what I'm going to show you, I want to create a part. Just using the standard part template, it's just literally going to be a block. Apply material to it and then I'm just going to save it, a standard name. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to bring in that. So I'm going to go uh, go with the standard free view, free ways. You get free free automatic view. So you can see the the name of the parts come in box. Obviously the the date's been populated, but I haven't got a material or weight being populated. So I'm going to go on edit sheet format. The text box is still there in the background. I'm just going to double check that I've got. See at the moment. Uh, materials not in there and the reason why it's not in is because it's not a, a solidworks default one so what i need to do is go back into the part even if i click on model found here it's not specified because it's only picking up the solidworks default ones so what i'm going to do just double check in it's definitely not there click i'm going to click cancel exit my sheet format now I'm going to open up the part you can see that I've got the material applied to it so what I need to do is, is link that that material so at the top I'm going to file properties now here this is where all the custom properties are so from the drop down I can select material and then again from the uh, the value select the solid works material and now it's a now picking up the default value save those changes then I'm just going to tab back through to my drawing and now you can see it's populating it so although the material is visible in the part it's not saved as a custom property so it's important to get those set up uh, again it's it's probably worth watching another one of my videos on property tab builder so you that you can link these two so Previously in the drawing, we haven't got the mass, so I've just opened up the part. There's the mass, so it's there in the model, but it's not as a file property. So I'm going to the drop down, I'll select weight, and then as uh, the value mass, you can see that it's got my evaluate to click OK and save that as a change. Now, when I go back, perfect, it's, it's populating the drawing. So that's a quick overview to setting up a drawing, uh, drawing template or, or sheet format. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete the views, and what we'll do, at, we'll look at next is, is saving them all in the right location. So first of all, I've got to save the sheet format what we've created. But just before we do that, I'd recommend setting up a, a location on a server or your local computer where you can save all of these two. So as you can see here what I've done, you can either use a server, I'm just using my D drive, got a folder called SolidWorks, one called Sheet Formats, and another folder called Document Templates. So what I need to do now is go File, Save Sheet Format. It's gone to the default location. So I'm just gonna navigate to my D drive, that SOLIDWORKS folder I've created and now um, how's my uh, sheet format in there so I'm just going to call it A3 sheet format you could obviously put your company name etc or your customer's name if you've got one just for them and that's saved that all that outline border so what I'll do next I've got to save it as a drawing template so save as this time save as type has got to be changed to drawing template and again once that's selected it's dropped me back to the default location 
So I'm going to navigate to my D drive, SolidWorks. This time, document templates, because this is going to be a document. And then I could just call this one drawing template. So what you could do, you could set up one for obviously for an A3, A4, etc. Drawing template, and then the paper size. Now that's been saved. As you can see, like so, they're in the correct locations. So what I'm doing now, a good bit of housekeeping, everything's organized. You can do exactly the same, but with a part template and assembly template. So if you want to set your part up in millimeters or inches, etc., you can specify this um, right now. So if I hit advanced, you can see I've got these existing templates, part in inches, millimeters, um, etc. You can you can specify your, your own properties. So if I click cancel that, just to show you the principle of this, I can make the the origin point visible. And I can also show all my planes. So if this is something you want to open up every single time and have your part template kick off like this, make everything visible, save as, uh, find the location of where you want to save it to, in this case my SOLIDWORKS document templates, give it its name, I'm just going to call it part template. And again, the important part is save as type. That's got to be changed to part template. Otherwise, you're just saving it as a normal uh, part file. And then uh, just save it in that folder. Perfect. And I do exactly the same now, but for an assembly. So I'm just using the SOLIDWORKS default one. Go for their millimeter one. This time, what I'm going to do, I don't want that origin piece available, so I'm going to hide that as an option. And then go save as. And then from the drop down, instead of assembly, I want assembly template. Find my location of where I want to save it to. And then call it whatever you're after. So I'm just going to call it assembly template. Click save. Perfect, that's done. I can close that down now. Close my drawing down. No need to save it. And now the important part. So I'm just double checking. I've got them all saved in the right locations. Same with the sheet format. Perfect. So what I need to do now is point SOLIDWORKS to look at that location. So I go system options, which is the cog, and then I want file locations. And you can see here, show folders for document templates. If I hit add, navigate to that my document templates folder, select the folder, click OK. Needs a bit of approval, so it's just double checking that I want to add that path. So just click yes to those options. And now when I hit on my white page, you can see at the top, I've got a top tab now, added document document templates. There's my part template, my assembly, and my drawing. So if I open the part, you can see my, it's my, all my planes are visible and my origin is in the middle. My assembly plan, template, nothing should be visible because I hid everything before we started. And then finally, the most important one, the drawing template. You can see that all the all the borders are retained, etc. So that is uh, uh, setting up your document templates in a nutshell.